What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we have a very different video. This is something that's in the works right now. Um, what we're planning to do this summer is going to be the first year we're going to do it. All the pricing, I'm just going to put this out here in the beginning, all the pricing's in the works right now. We'll have that all fine-tuned, and then we'll do a video on it, breaking it down completely. But this is the perfect way to put it out there. So what we're gonna do, I've had a lot of subscribers ask if they could send their gun to us. As long as we have, it matches our thread at this point. Uh, we have pretty much every choke and a couple different threads and a, and a couple different gauges. So you could be able to send your gun to us, pick your chokes, pick your ammo you wanna see. We just added a couple more pallets down here and uh, that way we can put up to five wide. We can do more if need be, but we are gonna get bigger pallets by the way, it's driving me nuts. This way we can put whatever choke they want up to five, put them up there, you can compare, we'll even count pellets, whatever you want to do. And you can make a decision without having to go out and A, buy five or six chokes, all the ammo needed, it's a ton of money in it. This way you could send your gun to us, we could pattern it, we'll film it all, put it on the channel, and you can pick, so when we send your gun back, you know exactly what that gun likes, because every gun is different. So what we got today, we have, you can tell the Stevens 301, it's a very popular option. But what we're fixing to do, let me get these in somewhat of an order here. We have five chokes, right like that. We have five yeah, of them. You're gonna have to hold them out to the side of you. Uh, no, go the other way. So uh, that's a little better. Yes, look at the little stubby in there, the little tit web. You better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you see we got five chokes here. Um, as you can tell, if you've been watching the channel, you know, that's my baby. Anaconda Striker, Pattern Master, Gas Over Constriction. It's a 570. Kicks, Goblin Thunder, 560. We have the Indian Creek, 555. We have the Tightwad, 570. $24 joke, just saying. And then we have the True Lock Pin Hody. It's a 585. So he wants to pattern, which I'm gonna let him introduce himself and go over all that fun stuff. So that's coming. But he wants to pattern all these, put them on paper. He has one ammo that he's looking to shoot this year, and that is the Verdict Nines. And if you guys have been watching the channel, you know they're 20 gauge load. This will hammer you some turkeys, okay? That's all there is about it. It's so a three inch ounce and five eighths and nines, and I think, yeah, 1150 feet per second. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at 560. We're gonna work our way right, all the way up to the 585 true lock. We'll just go in order, that way we can, you know, watch it. We're gonna put it all in one video, so it will be longer. But I really think this is gonna be a sweet, not only is it gonna be cool from watching what this gun likes, but you're gonna see from 560 uh, well, 555 to 560 to 570 to 585, and you're going to see how this ammo really likes in his Stevens. Now, this is something I've been working on, trying to figure out how to do. We're going to have it so locals can just drive over to the BCO range, we'll shoot, pattern it all. It's something that I really wanted to do because I get asked all the time, what choke should I shoot, what, what loads? And I can't honestly tell you, and it, it sucks. So this is one way you could send your gun in and we can figure it out exactly what you should take a field to match your perfect setup. So now I'm done rambling. I'm gonna hand the mic over. We gotta identify the shooter. Yeah. So let's get to it. Well, like Jake said, uh, we're here patterning my Stevens 301 20 gauge. Um, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Rob Burgess. And uh, basically what I wanna do is just find the load that works the best for me uh, for hunting this year. The stock choke that came with a gun didn't really perform with the eights that I shot before. And uh, we can hunt with nines now here in New York. So I was like, why not shoot nines? So these five different chokes that I'm gonna try, they're gonna cover a range of constrictions and uh, we're gonna see which one I like the best. What is, what's your early guess? The 570. Which one? I'm going with the tight wad. Yeah. And I'm going with the tight wad, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, this will be fun, this will be fun. I can't wait. 
Because that's that's the best part is is trying to guess what's going to happen. Because you have an idea. Like you're going to think the 555 is going to be screaming tight. I think it's going to be actually shocking how uniform it is with this load. And the 560 is going to hammer. I know that. Yeah. So we'll go 555, 560, 570, 570, 585. Well, that 585 is going to blow you away. It, it well, it does. That's a good choke. That's a really yeah. good choke because it's not. It's letting the TSS do the work. So, so oh, most constricted to least constricted, left to right. Yeah, and I bet you it shocks you. We'll see. <laughs> and then uh, there's the 555 to start. All right, so we went to thread the Indian Creek in. She didn't go. And I'm not talking the little gap everyone's talking about. That's what Moose and I both thought instantly, but it, it's got about a half inch of gap. It's We don't know if that choke's swole or you see this with budget guns. That choke threads in all three of our Stevens, but it does not go in his. So what we're doing, luckily we, we brought everything down. We have the 555 extra, extra, extra full comp and choke. So we still have a 555. That's went in the gun no issues so if we see this again we'll just have to find another choke in that constriction in the old box so we're still good but it is not the indian creek 555 it's the comp and choke so just to state that before we squeeze this trigger for the first pattern of this now we're good let's do it all right Thank you boys you. tell me when you're ready you good we are i'm still out. okay okay yeah all right before we let her rip this is the stevens 301 20 gauge with the comp and choke 555 verdict number nines, 40 yards. You're just gonna start with the left target? Left target. Okay, just so I know. Let's try not to miss. Oh, whoa, ears. Are you guys good? We're good. Good? Clear. Clear. Dead turkey. On to the next one, gotcha. First shot's on paper, second shot, same gun, different choke, same ammo. We are shooting the 560 Kicks Goblin Thunder. Here we go. Uh, target number dose. You boys ready? Yep. Yep, whenever you're ready. Here we go. That's dead nuts. Oy, oy, oy. The third shot, we're sending it through a Pattern Master Anaconda Striker 570 Constriction. All right, going hot. Yeah, that, that's a little tighter. Well, I held, I held right. You said to hold a little right. That, so so that looks like it's centered perfect. So you're just low. Where I held, yeah. just low, yeah. We're on shot number four, which means choke number four. We've got the Primos, tight wad, 570. My favorite of the bunch, most excited to shoot. $24. See how it matches up with the rest of them. I'm gonna tighten it up to the old shoulder a little bit better here. Ready? Yes, sir. You're just a little low, but that's covering. I think it, the low's been consistent, I think. I could aim a little bit higher. Yeah, the only one that you know shot. Funny? All right, the last choke of the day. We've got a True Lock Pin Hoti 585, so the least constricted of the bunch. Um, still shooting the number nine, same ammo. Let's see how she goes. That looked way low. Uh, yeah, that one. All right, so we shot all five. And just to break it down again, kind of the beauty about doing this is you really learn a gun. And in this case, we have one box of ammo, one brand. So we can see what this gun likes from 555, 560, 570 to 585. And you can really learn what that gun in specific likes. And you can do that without spending it. For him to do this test, to buy all these chokes, to put it on paper, would be roughly 320 bucks, 330 bucks, more if you add in shipping and tax. So with him bringing his own ammo, he has 50 bucks, but you're excluding all that cost. So that's kind of why we want to do what we're game planning for. Plus, 
if you don't have the time or you don't have somewhere to shoot, not all of us have this where we can just walk outside, put up some pallets and put some pat patterns on paper at 40, 60, 80, whatever. So you, there's a lot of variables into why this could be beneficial. But this right here, I gotta say was really cool. Seeing a, how this gun patterned across the board with different chokes and different constrictions with one brand of ammo. And I think we got, uh, I think we figured out what his Stevens likes. So I'm gonna give him the mic. We'll go over each individually. Yeah, I think we found what she likes with verdict in his gun. So time to pass the mic and let him explain what he thought of each pattern and we'll go from there. So the first pattern that we shot was the comp and choke extra, extra, extra full. It's the 555 constriction. Um, in just a quick glance, very, very open, a um, lot of voids, some pretty good flyers all around. Um, I think it was just a little too tight for my gun and the load that we're shooting. Uh, but I mean, it will kill a turkey. It's just, you got a lot to worry about on the outsides with other birds being around and uh, just not as dense as I would like for a hunting pattern. So we'll move on to the next one. We are on to the Kicks Goblin Thunder 560 constriction. So a little more open, um, but the pattern actually looks kind of similar to the 555. Not too much difference. Um, I think it was still a little choked down. Uh, we got quite a few flyers still. Um, not a super dense core. I mean, just fairly consistent with being open. Um, will it kill a bird? Yeah. But just kind of not what I'm looking for. That's all. On to the next one. All right. Now we get nasty. So this is the Pattern Master Anaconda Striker 570 Constriction. Uh, my gun definitely like this one the most. Um, really, really hot. I mean, very little voids. This thing at 40 yards just demolished this target. I mean, the, the turkey's got no beard left. Um, yeah, really, really take a look here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a bunch in there. Okay. Um, so this turkey's definitely dead. But on a serious note, uh, not really many flyers. I mean, this pattern is really all there. So definitely what I'm looking for. Um, not much to complain about, honestly. It really looks good. All right, this is the Primos Tight Wad, um, the one I was most excited to shoot because it's the cheapest out here. Um, and it patterned pretty darn well. It's a 570 constriction. It's the same as the Striker. I wanted to shoot that constriction twice because I know Jake's had good success with it. Um, definitely a tighter core than you know some of the tighter constrictions that we shot. A little more flyers with this one compared to the Striker. Um, so just got to be you know, aware that those exist when you're out there hunting. Um, but honestly, overall, a good pattern. And for 25 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with that. That's a dead bird all day long and might be the route that I go for this year. So good with that one. All right, on to the last one that we shot. This was a True Lock Pin Hoti 585 Constriction, so the most open of the bunch. Um, and honestly, I'm impressed with this one too. A uh, few more flyers than the tight wad or the striker, um, but you really you really get a good core down here. I mean, really consistent, very little voids, and if they are, they're not big at all. I mean, you center this this up, it's a dead turkey all day long. So these last three that are a little bit more open as far as constriction, my gun really likes, and I would shoot that all day long. So no complaints there. So I think the coolest part about this test is just laying all five of them out here and you're really able to see how the gun progressed through different chokes and what my gun really liked. Um, definitely as we went more open in constriction, the gun really liked that. Um, and we were able to find the load that I'm probably gonna hunt with or the, the choke that I'm gonna hunt with for this year. So I'm really pleased with how the patterns came out and uh, you're really able to just narrow down what your gun likes and such an easy way to do it here. I mean, it. how, how else can you do it? This is the way to go. You go to BCO. Yeah, that's right, you go to BCO. Um, but yeah, I mean, is there anything else you wanna add? 
so once again, this is kind of our game plan. Um, for people that are local, they can drive here, bring their gun. As long as it matches the threads that we have all the chokes available, we are going to look to get all the different chokes and just kind of build on this as we go. But in this case, he has a Stevens 301. We have pretty much everything for it. And I mean, look at how easy this process was. It was what, maybe 30 minutes? And we got to pick different constrictions. He could pick some chokes. It kind of sucks we didn't get to do the Indian Creek because it didn't fit in the gun. But, because it could have been, it could have been lights out. We don't know, but it is what it is. And now this is a way that he can do this, saving over $300 and a lot of time. And like I said, guys, not everyone has all the TSS, all the chokes, the places to be able to actually just shoot. We're lucky to have it, and this is a way that we can help people find their best pattern because that's why we started the turkey pattern series. And with all the people that ask what chokes, what loads, now you can see exactly why we say, we can't tell unless we have your gun. Moose's kicks with, with our Moose's Stevens 301 with this verdict load with the Kicks Goblin Thunder was like the Anaconda Striker 570 in his gun. Night and day difference, and that's the same gun. So we can't tell you unless we do this. So if this is something that is kind of you're interested in, we are going to fine tune all the pricing to do it. If you got to ship your gun, we would go FFL to RFFL, everything's insured. So it's a nice, smooth process. Everything's safe about it. And then we can put it on paper with what you want to see. We'll film it like this, one long video. And uh, if you're local, you can pop in for the video. So, I mean, it's all about what you want to do. But I think this could greatly help a lot of people. I mean, like you said, you learn a lot about your gun real quick. And for sure. to be able to do this in 30 minutes with everything at hand, that's, that's priceless to me. Especially a lot of people got a lot of things going on. It's life. So this is something we want to do. Um, this is a perfect way to kick it off. And uh, it was kind of funny because you asked me about it. And I was already thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? Let's do this because this is what we want to do. We want to help people find the best patterns. This is the best way to do it. End of the day, how would you rate it? Did it work? Oh, it was great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, at the end of the day, you save so much money. And when you have to worry about, you know, when you have a budget turkey gun or you know, your wallet's tight or something like that, you know, this is, what better way to do it? You know, there's not. So everything's available right here and it's laid out just perfect. It was awesome. Nice cheap pallets. <laughs> <laughs> so the, you went with the tight wad with the Verdict 9s? Yep. Once again, that tight wad, $25, I mean, how do you beat it? The striker is lights out, but is it $50 more? I mean, I would probably go with the striker. Well, I like the striker, that's my favorite choke, but that tight wad, Hard to beat it, it's very consistent. But if this is something that interests you, drop a comment below. Let us know what you thought of his gun's progression through different different constrictions. If you've done something similar to this, let us know in the, in the comments. We, we love talking turkey and you know I respond to every comment as soon as possible. But guys, we got a lot more to film. I think we're gonna film a couple more with his gun and uh, fine tune some other options and see. But I'm pumped to say that he found what he's gonna hunt with He's ready and he'll be zero to it. So it's, I mean, at the end of the day, what's better than that? All done. And it was fun for us because we get to learn a lot about that gun. And there's going to be a lot more like this coming. But guys, as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let us know if you're interested about doing this, whether it be sending your gun or driving down over here. Drop a comment below or message us. The pricing will be in the works. We're going to do it only in the summer. So it's optimal weather. Got a lot of time that we can actually fine tune to the setup and get a lot done. But guys, subscribe if you're new. Let's get that 30K giveaway. Congrats to Gunner Dill on the 15K shot cam giveaway. It's coming, buddy. I'm, I'm eager to see what you do with it this year. By the way, 20 gauge TriStar Raptor, our G2 Viper is what he's putting it on. <laughs> Hawks excited to hear that. So guys, Jake Sleason, Blue Collar Outdoors. Catch you on the next one.